the first observation is that x tends to infinity. Next, what is the highest power of x in the entire function? You can see it is x to the power of 3. Hence, I will use x to the power of 3 and divide all the variables. Hence, I will divide each variable with x to the power of 3 because x to the power of 3 is the highest power in the entire function. Next, take the limit of the remaining function. That is, wherever you see x, you are going to put infinity. Next, to be able to finish up the remaining problem, let's recap this concept. Any number that divides infinity is 0. For example, 0 divide infinity is 0. 5 divide infinity is 0. Likewise, since infinity is a very large number, infinity divide any number. We reduce that number to infinity. Same when the infinity is negative. For the negative, it will reduce it to minus infinity. And if infinity multiplies any number, it's going to reduce it to infinity. And you will need to consider if either the infinity or the number got a negative. Subsequently, exponential to the power of infinity is infinity. But exponential to the power of negative infinity is zero. Always remember these concepts. Hence, any number divided by infinity is zero. And any number divided by infinity is zero. One divided by infinity is zero. And six divided by infinity is equally zero. Is our final answer. Alternatively, we can use differentiation. 2x cubed, if we differentiate this, we're going to have 6x squared. Next, differentiate x squared. And you're going to have 2x. Next, differentiate 5. And you're going to have 0 because it's a constant. Next, differentiate 3 x to the power of 3 and you're going to have 9 x squared next differentiate x squared there is a minus you're going to have minus 2 x next differentiate 6 there is a minus there if you differentiate a constant it is 0 since we still have x in the function let's differentiate again differentiate 6x squared you are going to get 12x next differentiate 2x and you're going to have 2 next differentiate 9x squared and you're going to have 18x next differentiate 2x and you're going to get 2 x is still in the function Hence, we differentiate again. Differentiate 12x and you're going to get 12. Next, differentiate 2, which is a constant, you're going to get 0. Next, you're going to differentiate 18x, which will give you 18. Next, differentiate 2, which will give you minus 0. Next, we are left with 12 over 18. What is the highest number that can go into 12 and go into 18 without remainder? It is 6. 6 in 12 is 2 and 6 in 18 is 3. Hence, our final answer is 2 over 3, which is same as we got earlier. Next, the third alternative is you consider the highest power in this function. 
of x which is x to the power of 3. Next, x to the power of 3 at the numerator. What is the coefficient? It is 2. Next, consider x to the power of 3 at the denominator. What is the coefficient? It is 3. Hence, your answer is 2 over 3. You don't even need to solve this whenever it is infinity. And from the options, our answer is C. Check out for other videos. In precalculus. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.